And Shalom, I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly knows as God, Yahweh Shai being the name of the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, which the world ignorantly knows as Jesus. Okay? And the Rakakwadash is Hebrew for the Holy Spirit. All right. Double one is to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. And peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp. And I've got a quick article I'm going to go into, which uh, I agree with. <clears throat> Let's read the heading. This is from uh, CN CNN. And this was uh, put up a day, one day ago. So that would be the 28th. It's the business sector. It's a business uh, section. It says, as inflation soars, black Americans, which talking about Israelites, okay, the tribe of uh, Judah. All right. Then you also have other, some of the other tribes like yeah, you got um, you have Gadites that look like Judites, you know, that or Gadites that believe they're Judites. In other words, they believe they're black, but they'll go they'll go back to Gad or even uh Reuben, the so-called uh, Native American Indians and the so-called Seminole Indians. That's Gad and Reuben, and Judah would be the so-called Negroes. Okay, it says as inflation soars, black. Americans bear the brunt of rising groceries and not only blacks, but uh, the Israelites, the so-called Latinos and Native Americans also. OK, the thing is with the so-called Latin tribes. They're used to being they're used to functioning in a soup, a super dirt poor uh, way. Even more so than a uh, so-called Negro, you know, they are they'll pile up in a house, they'll pile up in a car, just so they can make way, you know. They'll 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 uh, uh, have you know six seven people or so or whatever you know the number can vary, stand in a household and they all make it working. Some of them weren't working less than minimum wage jobs, you know. Don't even have their green card, so to speak, working under the table for Esau or standing in front of the Home Depot or the, the Lowe's or something like that. And they'll bring their little pennies together and, and, and eat and drink, you know. So just bringing that out as, an, as a, a, a difference between those, the so-called Latin tribes and the so-called Negroes. So-called Negroes can't come together on shit. Now, I'm not saying that there's no division amongst the Latin tribes, because there is. But to a, a, a better degree, they can come together to survive. Versus Jake, you know, so-called Negroes, blacks, you know, they don't come to well. They don't, I'm sorry, they don't come together nearly as well, you know. But anyway, let's read. Let's read on. It says gas and housing prices. Now, let's, I want to jump down to a, a portion of this article, which is okay. Okay, give me one second. Okay, I'm going to start right here. It's kind of a bit much. I don't want to read all of it, but who knows? I'm going to read some of this. And what is this all going into? This is all leading in. This is all showing that this place we know as America is on its way out. Things are going to get bad out here. All this is the beginning of uh, hyperinflation. This is um, eventually going to lead into the time of Jacob's trouble. Part of the time of Jacob's trouble is a famine. There will not be food on the shelves. Swelling death in the streets at alarming rates. 
and just terror, you know, out here in, in the streets of America. Okay. So let's read this. It says, like many, like many black families, Johnson and her husband are bearing the brunt of inflation. And everybody is, but as we're gonna read, dealing with dealing with number statistics, right? Of course, black so-called what well, Jakes are gonna feel the effect worse because they're not making as much money as a so-called white man, the Edomites. Okay, it says um, with prices rising to the highest rates. The U.S. has uh, seen in more than 40 years, researchers say black families, see researchers, not just some person uh, get, getting uh, speaking their mind. These, this is researched. Say black families will suffer the worst effects of rising inflation because they lag behind their white counterparts in income, wealth, financial savings, and home ownership. Is that a true statement? You got damn right it is. Now, it may not be by a big, by a lot, but yeah. So-called blacks is, are not making as much money. They don't have as much. They don't have no damn wealth. And financial savings, only a few fit this bill. Only a few of our people fit having some decent income, wealth, financial savings, and home ownership. Okay, it says, but the average, when we're dealing with the average, the common folk, so to speak, they don't have, they're not making good income, they don't have wealth, financial savings, or home ownership. It says, the disparity leaves many black Americans without the funds to help offset the rising consumer prices, uh, prices and put greater pressure on their monthly income, economists say. The thing seen in this, and this is just the beginning. And Jake is out here feeling it. Everybody's on this cutting back and, 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 and not spending how they used to spend. And not buy, being able to buy as many groceries as they once bought. We all feeling this shit. You know? And it's only going to get worse. This is only going to get worse. It's going to lead into... All hell breaking loose in this so-called country. It says some economists fear that if lawmakers don't act soon to combat inflation, black families may be forced to go without necessities as the threat of another uh, recession looms. And it's going to be Edomites in there too. Edomites and, okay, even uh, some of the other nations that's over here. But who's going to get it the worst? Who's going to have it the worst? Who's going to be doing the bad, the worst in this situation? It's the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? It says, I'm, I'm bypassing this. So let's look at the, I'm bypassing a couple of paragraphs. It says, according to the Booking, uh, Brooking Institute, the medium uh, wealth of a white household is 188 and 200 uh, dollars, which is uh, seven point eight times more than the average black household. Um, at twenty four thousand one hundred dollars in two thousand nineteen, the home ownership rate for white Americans was about seventy three percent compared to forty two percent for black Americans. And, you know, I'm not going to go all into this. I haven't checked these numbers or anything like that. But what I can say is that what I do know is so-called blacks do not make as much money as so-called white as a whole. That's a fact. Now, you can go look them numbers up for yourself. Okay. So what does that mean? That means when... Well, while we're under this and dealing with this inflation, okay, that who's going to feel the, the, the negative the negative effects of it worse? So-called blacks will. That's, that's 
Simple logic. So this is a gem read description. I'm going to close out. Because all this is going to lead to a time of Jacob's trouble. It's going to get fucking bad out here. Jake is still able to party and bullshit. You know, maybe not like they once did, but they still effing around. Jake is not worried about nothing but partying and, and sports and entertainment. Then the ones that the ones that say that they're woke, they lost as ever. They lost as ever. You're not woke unless you understand these scriptures. Know the truth of the scriptures. Jeremiah 30 and 7. Because the same people that's woke think this place is gonna go on somehow, some way. Same people that call them, Jake's that call themselves woke. They think this place is gonna continue. They're not thinking about thermonuclear destruction. They're not thinking about the the MOTB. You got some, you know, there's a small number that's not in this truth that know about it, okay? But Jake don't know what the hell is going on. Jeremiah 30 and 7, it says, At last, for that day is great. See, this is the day right before uh, the day of the MOTB being administered or you know shortly after because what does Esau need he needs he needs chaos to bring in order the order is going to bring the be the MOTB but before he instituted or have people lining up at the stations to to receive that he has to bring chaos he has to make chaos happen okay it says, so that none is like it, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Jacob represents the 12 tribes of Israel in this particular verse. It says, but he shall be saved out of it, meaning the remnant of Israel, a remnant. The elect of the nation Israel will make it, okay? They will not be destroyed in the times to come. And we're in the beginning stages, man. Things is getting bad out here. Crime rates is through the roof. Price of the cost of living on everything is high. Layoffs is going to come back in a big way. Lord willing, this video was edifying. And until the next one, I say Shalom.